Okay, so we've been on Christmas Island since Thursday now and are going to be here for another two days talking to asylum seekers in the centre and, and out at construction camp where the kids and the families are kept. You can actually see the, the main centre um, here behind me. We're up on a hill on Christmas Island. Um, and, and as you can probably see, it is, it is like a prison. There are a lot of fences. It is very, very restrictive in there. Um, you know, people don't really have the freedom to, to come and go, to, to use the internet, to see their friends. Um, it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a really harsh environment and, you know, it, it's, it's made even harsher by, by the fact that j just, um, just over there, which you might not be able to see, are the red and the white compounds, which are used, really used as, as management tools. Um, you know, in, in some ways management for, of, of self-harm issues, but in a lot of ways management for behavioural issues. And, you know, it is, it is really, it's really horrible to see that, you know, this detention centre, which, which really does create a whole lot of, you know, awful and serious mental health issues, then has to, you know, create a whole lot of harsh management regimes to, um, to control the behaviour that is inevitable. Because, you know, as, as so many of the men we've spoken to have said, when you lock us up for so long without telling us why, you know, without giving us reasons, there doesn't seem to be any logic behind the decisions as far as the men can see and, you know, they're just full of confusion and that leads to anxiety and, you know, that just just makes life pretty unbearable. Um, so, so many of the men that we met are, are taking a lot of pills, a lot of sleeping tablets just to sort of, you know, sleep the day away and, and hope that it passes as quickly as they can. But they've been in there for years now and, um, and a lot of them, you know, have lost hope that they'll, they'll ever get out. Um, so it is, it is really, really confronting to, to walk around the centre and, and talk to these men. But, um, but it's obviously, you know, it, it's really important. And it's interesting to compare with Curtin, how it's different. Because in some ways it is, it's a lot more restrictive than Curtin. Um, it's, um, you know, the, but the facilities are sort of a lot more established and, you know, people aren't just kind of in dongers in the red heat like they are in Curtin. But at the end of the day, the key issues are the same. And, you know, it's about the endless waiting. It's about, it's about not knowing what's going on with their lives. It's about worrying about their families back home who are in danger. Um, and, you know, and, and that just all adds up the day after day waiting. It just, it just adds up and, it, and it's breaking people. And it's, it's really horrible to see.